Hey guys, it's the Unbro Bro here, and welcome back to another episode of the RPG Maker VX Ace Tutorials. Um, I've, as you can see here, I made like a little map. Let me organize here. Okay, I made this little small map. I, I, um, I used these tiles to actually create it. Uh, this and this one right here. Um, let me go ahead and explain this real quick. So, like, y you want to make something, you know, you can easily make it kind of curve around by clicking one of these corners. Okay, this makes no sense. I apologize. But, uh, anyways, I used these tiles to make a little map like this. This tutorial is going to be covering somewhat advanced events. Uh, not really advanced, but kind of what you would, like, call advanced, I guess. Okay, say you have a tree behind this little area right here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, and, okay, let's set a player position. No, no, we do want to save changes. Okay. Alright, so, um, <clears throat> see how you can go behind it? Say, well, what if you're up here? You don't want to go behind the tree if you're up top of it, right? So how you fix that is, um, the top of the tree shouldn't actually be a tile. Um, the top of the tree should actually be in two events. Um, hang on. This one right here, hold on. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to a new page, and you're going to want to make a switch, and make this switch called uh, Floor, and this, this will tell you what floor you're on. All you need is one switch, and you can actually use this method to use, like, multiple floors if you need to. Okay, so, anyway, copy this, and, well, you can't just press Control c on that. But, anyways, so, make both of them. You want to have two pages, one without the switch and one with the switch. Uh, the one with the switch, you want to say, or the one without the switch, you want to say above characters. Um, the one with the switch, you want to say below characters. So, in other words, when you activate the switch, it's gonna, the the, the tree branch is actually gonna appear lower. So now copy the event like I just did there and uh, paste it, and then no, and then give it the other side. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and show you how that looks. <clears throat> okay, so this. Now we go behind it. Well, we're still going behind it here, but we don't. We want to stop that. So basically, wherever you have your um, huh, can we walk up that? I don't even know if we can or not. Right, let's see if we can walk up that. Should be able to. Yep. Okay. Good. Do 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 do. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I was just humming that. All right. So now you want to have a um below the characters event right here. Uh, player touch, and you want to do. Right here, control switches, and then you want to do floor on. You know, whatever, what, whichever one you named floor. If, if um, you named a different variable, just double click it. You know, don't do that, or just click this whole thing right here. And then, all right, so, anyways, floor on. Copy that, paste it about four times where your character goes up. Copy it again and paste it here, but this time edit this one. And now you have um, now right here on in this area, uh, this area right here, you have switch off instead. So you want to copy those and paste them there. Now, whenever you go up, okay, see when you're on the bottom here, he's behind the tree. But uh, when you go up, you know, you're on top, he's above the tree. Now see, if you were to um, glitch your way through, you would see he's still above the tree because obviously it didn't reset the switch. So there, there you go, that's how you can make uh, layers. See now he's behind the tree. And as you can see, it kind of doesn't really matter which area out there, but you can. You can do that, stuff like that. Okay, so um, now another thing would be, say, um, I don't know if I can actually pull this off. I haven't really tried. But uh, I'm going to make, you know what, this is going to look crappy because I don't really um, have time right now to uh, make a really good map. But say you have like another uh, another layer. No. Say you have another layer up here, but um, this layer, okay, I don't think I can pull this off, I really don't, but I mean, I can give it a try. Let's see if we can, I don't know if I can, I haven't actually really tried this. Um, but basically what I'm trying to do is, say, like, I was, I was trying to show you the, uh, the method for, for making, um, like multiple layers using one switch, but basically you just keep turning it on and off, and then it'll work by itself, kind of. I know, I'd probably just confuse the heck out of you there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's 
kind of how you use advanced scripts, uh, I guess. I don't really know. I've just confused myself because I was going to do something and I lost like all possibility of doing so. <laughs> Alright, so, um, hmm. Actually, a good example would, no, no, not really, okay. Alright, so I guess I'm done then. <laughs> I guess I'm done. Alright, this has been an incredibly short episode, but now you know, uh, you know what, I don't, I'm not even going to title this uh, advanced script. I'm just going to title this script trick, I guess. I don't know, I'll title something. Okay. No, stop lagging. There we go. Yay, we're in front of it. Let me test a little event. Yay, we're behind it. Alright. See you guys.